Right, let's try that again, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to Soma. When we last left off, uh, we had a looting list. And uh, we managed to get the structure, Joe. Now we just need to find ourselves a battery. Power room. Power room sounds like an area we'd find a battery, but... Uh, I don't know. Maintenance tunnel? Maintenance tunnel that's locked up tight. Hmm... How does oh? How does one? That's the wow. How does one? Oh, Jesus! Open the maintenance tunnel. Hello, there, buddy. You having a bit of a bad time? The wow's kind of keeping you. Kind of alive. That doesn't look like an enjoyable uh, existence. Uh, you know, if I'm being honest, I mean, it's not what I would want, personally. Sounds like we have hostiles. I think we have hostiles, guys. Power pack store. Oh, hello. This sounds good. Oh. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> I guess not. Uh, high performance rechargeable lithium sulfur packs. Lithium sulfur, eh? Standard S3 connection uh, Hamatsu energy file for machine tools, uh, XO rigs, and power suits. When depleted, recharge the pack in the Hamatsu charge N5 or other S3 compatible charger. Whoa, 515 watt hours. That's. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's some power pack. Lithium sulfur, eh? Never heard of that. Gonna have to look that up, these things. Hey, buddy. I'm just. Just here for your power pack. Alright? I don't want any trouble. So we can't get through there. I don't really want to rough and tumble, mate, but. Uh, we have to do what we have to do, I guess. Sounds like he's on to us. Hey, yeah, buddy. You gonna let me through? Or are you gonna be a bit of an asshole about the whole situation? Oh. Oh, hello. You're like a, a weird zombie thing. Alright. Now, calm down, matey. As I said, I'm just here for your Duracells. I can't... Ah, oh, piss. I can't tell what way he's looking. Which is a little bit awkward, uh, given the circumstances. He doesn't seem to be overly mobile. We having a good time over there. I think he's having a good time. He doesn't seem too bothered. Or her, I should say. He doesn't seem to be too bothered that we're throwing stuff. Oh, there we go. Well, looks like we're going to have a bit of a chase. Come grab me. Right, battery. Uh, battery, please. There we go. Right, fucking cheese it. Cheese it. Run, 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 run. See you later, sucker. Now, I would say see you later, sucker, but I can't really see what the fuck I'm doing or where I'm going. Optional, I guess. Ooh, bollocks.
I hope I've gone the right way. Disclaimer, I may not have gone the right way. Well, that got intense. I need some coffee after that. He was a delightful fellow, wasn't he? Quite colourful. He seemed to be having a good time, to be fair, before we uh, rudely interrupted his uh, meditation. Now, how far did you follow us? Do we need to recharge this battery? Oh. Okay, so where do we need to go now? Medical research facilities, advanced uh, Maricure, home of the Abyss Climber Rig. Enjoy your stay. I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you, game. Thanks for, for asking. Or at least inquiring. So we can go down there. I must... Let's think about this. Did we go into the dining hall? If we shut the power room, is he going to get salty? No. I'm assuming we don't need to go in the power room anymore. Well, at least... Oh, hello. At least get away from these things doesn't appear to be overly hard. So far, I guess. Alright, well, we're in the diner. Got lots of food here. We've got curry, rice, spinach, dried beef, noodles, curry mix. I guess we can't make ourselves anything to eat, but then we did probably don't need to eat being a robot. Seems like your head's exploded. We got nothing. There's no chip in his brain. His brain has evacuated his cr Ooh, his cranium. Really? That's what it gives you? That actually looks quite substantial. On the old munch print. What's this? Miso. Alright. Miso hungry. There we go. Shame we can't use these. I'm curious to see how these things work. Well, no, can you just. No, how? There we go. Lovely. Uh, no, we can't operate that. And that's probably been here for. Well, actually, that looks pretty good considering it's probably been resting here for. Oh, I don't know. Good few months at least. Uh, oh, I guess that's the fridge. That is a wasted space fridge. I mean, it's very compact, which is cool. But it doesn't have a lot of fridge space. Probably just for drinks, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so. We don't have a lot here, though, do we? We've just got a dining hall with someone's splattered cranium everywhere. Can we actually access... Oh, we can access that. Undelivered report one. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. Oh. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. Hmm. The WoW has been getting more aggressive. Pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. Oh. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system 
overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I can use some advice so you can get through. Don't end Oh, I guess uh, it's fucking with everybody's heads. That's interesting. So the WoW can influence um, the chip inside your head. It's not just a, a, a read um, only device. Curious. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Oh. Oh dear. Johan Ross was found dead on the climb. Unable to establish a link. The has been getting more aggressive. Things are out of hand. I see. So that is how she ended her existence. You know, there's not a lot of uh, fragmentation here, is there? It's just a big smear of blood. You'd expect some, you know, bone fragments, a uh, bit of brain, that sort of thing. What have you got there? What is this? Uh... You know, these uh, cameras that we have for eyes aren't actually that good. Never mind. Um, right, well, I... Why don't I have a meeting about the meeting? Yes, yeah, sounds fun. Let's go invite our friend from the power station. Well, I guess he didn't follow us through. I guess. Isn't there a floor below thing? Yeah. So we've been here. Um, been to the power room. And now back here. So that leads down. I assume. So we need to get to the lower. Um, somehow. All right. I'm assuming there's no monsters here. So we can go back down there. South stairwell. Well, I should say. Uh, main entrance. Right, well, I guess we're going back downstairs then. Oh well. Forward on to dawn. So back in the south hall, that. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well. Okay. Looks like our little friend has uh, woken up. Power room, main entrance, hydroponics. Where was the stairs down? Shit. another stairwell down. Matey has gone for a little... Ah, here we go. Ass cakes. Big, juicy, dribbly ass cakes. Where the devil has he fucked off to? Um, well, this is where we came in. That is now open. Shit. Where did he go then? Surely through here. Although maybe not, I suppose. Alright, let's remove the lockdown. Uh, 
Only one way to go. That makes our job a little bit easier. South Hall. Robot repair bay. That sounds fun. What else have we got? We've got the robot repair bay. Hey, pal. Oh, fuck. Look at this. That is so interesting. So, yeah. It just looks like it's Keeping them alive by any means necessary. That is so crazy. Ah, that's so fascinating. You're right, buddy. I'm just going to sit on your lap. I wish we could zoom in a little bit. So it's kind of replaced uh, all of his organs. Some kind of breathing apparatus, perhaps? Or is that cooling? doesn't seem to be working very well. I feel for you, buddy. I really do. Uh, I wish... I wish I could help you. Uh, maybe if we give him one of those. Might help him out a little bit. Give him... Work out that anxiety. The heart of... Something that I can't read. I can't get over that though. I need to have another look at that. Curiosity is just doing my head in. I might actually download these models on um, XNA Lara. Have a good look. That is cool. Um, right, so more logs. This is a living nightmare. Yes, yes. Good. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Hmm. Well. Interesting that uh, the last bastion of human survival um, ended up like this. Schematic? Mind maze? Or mad drawings? Guess we may never know. Structure gel container. She was definitely going mad. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. They really were trying to inject something. Illuminati confirmed, I guess. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Well, I guess that is what we have to do. 
Oh my god, that is crazy. That is so cool. I am very impressed by the art design of this game. Ha! Huh. Okay, I was expecting bad Nick. Um, there's a robot, I guess, or something. Ooh, do we have a puzzle? Uh, A95 worker. Yeah, one of the little droids. Alright, well. What the hell do we have here? Eject Cortex chip. That's what we want. Motor comms. Uh, do they all have to be connected? Okay, I... I don't understand. What this is exactly. I'm guessing we have to... Oh, right. Oh, right, 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 okay. Uh, ah. Okay. So let's turn all of these off. So I'm guessing we need to get everything to go down. I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was way, <clears throat> way easier than I, I thought it would be. You know, the puzzles haven't really been that hard in this game, have they? One Cortex chip. I guess now we've just got to return. Alright. I can do that. I say with utmost confidence. Right, let's get back. We just hit a save point, which is nice, but where's that other guy that's walking around? Or is that just like a shock value? But I don't buy that. He's here somewhere. Oh shit, here we go. Run, run. I think we went the wrong way. No, we didn't. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Yeah, he's still behind us. Uh, Catherine, uh, yeah, coming in hot. Oh. Okay. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, buddy. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yes. Let's get to work. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Um right now okay, so Cortex chip. Oh, that's our brain, of course. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. And structure gel. Um, uh, yep, yeah, cool, why not? I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. 
Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You yeah. can really do it. Change body. Yes. Why not? I want to stay here. I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Okay. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Because I have no idea. <sighs> All right, Catherine, if you're sure. We need to loop back the activity manifested by the current cortex chip, oh. run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. All right. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. All right. That doesn't sound too difficult. That is way out of sync, isn't it? So that's not even close. That is also not close. Ah, I see. So we need a, a lot more amplitude on that. Something like that, I'm guessing? That's too much. Yeah, that's about right. So it's now... No, we need more offset. A little bit more. That looks correct. We just need to match the frequency now. Which is something like th that looks about right. So what's gone on here? It's the offset, is it? Close. Slightly out of sync now. All right, offset is zero. <gasps> that oh, that's close. Slightly less amplitude, maybe? That is very close. More? No. Now, I think amplitude, s amplitude 7 is where it's at. Try... No. See, that looks about as close as we can... Yeah, that's... That is bloody close. One setting is literally out. By a hair. No, we're getting further out now. Yeah, we're way out now. I think zero is where it's at. Or is that slightly wider? That... That could be it. No, it, it, the peaks... The peaks are slightly too low. So that's... That's the right amplitude, I think. Just need to spread them out a little bit. Which is the frequency. Let's try a frequency of 5. That's not enough. Oh, that's so close. That is about as... Yeah, mismatch. Oh, we're so close. Can we... Do we have to do this at a certain... time frame? 
to match the pulse, perhaps. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. All right, Simon, we don't really have a choice here. Go sit in the pilot seat. <sighs> All right. Let's do this thing. Oh god, I hope there's ale on this arc. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians saw photos and steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say so. Just copied ourselves. Why was it still talking? Yeah. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works. You know that. Because we have just made a copy of ourselves. We haven't actually transferred consciousness. See, this is something that I find really, really, really uh, intriguing. Okay, this is something that I've thought about a lot over the years. Um, oh man, this game's great. It's funny. Um, when you hear people, um, you know, the age old thing, wouldn't you like, if you, if you're female, it's like, wouldn't you like to be a, a guy for a day, uh, just transfer your body, uh, or your mind into a male body and vice versa. You know, it's one of the age old questions, but I've always thought about that differently. Like, is it actually possible to transfer your complete consciousness into something else? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I find it hard to believe because your consciousness is your specific neurons and, and, and the way they're aligned in your brain. But but there's more to it than that, though. Um, you know, you have your body's energy and... Um, oh, it's just weird. I mean, is there a soul? Uh, I don't think so, but maybe. I mean, I don't know the answer to these questions. But the only the thing that always kept springing up in my mind, the most logical thing, is is you wouldn't be transferring yourself into another body. You would be just creating a copy of you. I can't believe this is happening in this game. This is really you cool. Know, it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kat. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realized how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Poor Catherine, man. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Fuck. Um... Wow, what a decision. I mean, you would not want to be wandering these halls forever. I mean, we're going to... There we are. Oh, my God. Drain battery. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is us. This, this is... The guy that has taken us this far. Um. I mean, here's the thing, right? I mean, he's he's on borrowed time as it is. He's only he only has until his battery runs out. Oh. So he's sleeping. Uh, 
<sighs> this is heavy. This is this is very very heavy. I. This is a hard decision, but I mean, if I was in his situation, would I want to go to sleep forever? Or would I want to wake up here, wandering these halls for eternity? I mean, there is no chance of, of salvation here. You are fucked. There's no one left alive on the planet. The world has ended. The WoW is just out of control. There's no way to fight against the monsters. You're not going to have Catherine. You are going to be on your own. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm sorry. But I genuinely think it's better this way. Oh, he's beeping. That is a really, really intelligent choice to force the player to make. Wow. I'm sorry, man. I I am. I, I really am. But, uh... Ah, uh, heavy stuff. Give me that. And I'm not mad at you, Catherine, either. I mean, there's nothing we could do. It is what it is, I'm afraid. Damn. Ad Victoria, buddy. Ad Victoria. Anyway, guys, on that rather heavy note, um, I'm going to leave it here. Shit. That. This, uh, this is going to stay with me for a little while, I think. I'm going to be thinking about this. Hmm. It's one of those situations where there is no right decision. Um, both decisions are pretty bleak. But, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.